All right, folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here I've got the oversized high saw gun with a tube of E20 HP. Um, again, like I said, I like to use the E20 HP for wood to fiberglass because it's a little runnier. So in my opinion, it, it penetrates into the, the wood structures a little bit better than like a 9460 or 9462. Um, so now, because I'm, now's the time to high saw this wood structure into the fiberglass nose cone and then we'll leave it to cure for a few hours. Okay, folks, I know y'all probably didn't see a whole lot of that. It's not uh, the easiest thing to to video while getting in there. So hopefully I fast forwarded enough to where it was less painful. Um, I just got done putting all the high saw on the seams between the frame and the fiberglass nose. Uh, the little tool that I used, um, these are just some, I believe they're clay carping tools from just your local hobby store. Um, they come in like a set of four. They work great for spreading uh, glue fillets and stuff like that around. <clears throat> now that I've got... Now i got to sneeze. Now that I've got all the high saw in place, you'll notice that I did put some high saw around the frame where it goes up against the frame that's part of the fuselage. <clears throat> now I'm just going to take some q-tips and i'm just going to go around and clean up the excess high saw that's squeezed out of the places where you don't really want it i'm going to do that both on the wood and the fiberglass portion part of it all the way around that intersection joint between the the two wood pieces <clears throat> and the reason why i put high saw in those areas is because the fit is tight on some and then a little loose on others um, just because of I me mean, trying to sand the the bevel onto the wood parts so that they fit tightly to this curved fiberglass piece and sometimes you get it right sometimes you don't and because of that that is why I put the high saw on on the intersecting seams that way i can make sure i get a good glue joint between all of it once it is separated i will go through and actually uh, touch up the joint with some more high saw or thicken epoxy um, i'm thinking i may even uh, fiberglass the bare wood portions of this thing just to lock it all together although that is likely unnecessary and probably just a, a coat of epoxy or something to seal the wood and then some some primer would be more than enough again it's hard for me to do this and video it all at the same time
because you're either gonna see my head or you're gonna see the work or I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So anyways, that's it for that for now. Uh, we'll let that dry for a couple hours and then we'll come back down here a little bit later today and we'll start working on getting this separated. That way we can attach this lower section to the fuselage permanently.